Hey, y'all. I'm going to post up a picture because sometimes my uh, phone just takes pictures of me. And I want to show y'all, you know how people like the people, the people, the natural hair people, they'll have it up and then they'll undo it and it'll just unfurl in all its glory and look so beautiful. Well, that's not my hair. <laughs> this is my hair right here. <laughs> my hair, it's like, oh, you put me in a bun or a ponytail or something. Oh, this is where we at until... So this take a lot to get back here, y'all. Because just so y'all know, it's not like I take the, my buns out, my ponytail, and my hair just falls into place. Oh no, no, no! My hair is like, oh, we here, we staying here. No, we're not playing with you. Okay, so that's just something I want to tell y'all about. <sighs> y'all know my intros are me talking, so I know people don't like people who talk. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to start putting the chapters in again, so people will be like, oh, okay, because. You know, folks just want to hear what they want to hear, and that's fine. However, I might not, I might just put a timestamp of what I'm doing and then I list everything underneath it, and then you just got to figure it out. Okay. But let me tell y'all, I was working yesterday. This is early morning. I was going to do this yesterday, but honey, I got into my yard, my front yard, and I was finishing up my little project because it's a little project. My front yard ain't big, y'all, but let me show y'all. I think I'm going to put a video up here of my sexy front yard. Now, this is the first year of this front yard, so it's, you know, in growth process, and if you know anything about yard, you know, front gardening, that first year, you know, you're just kind of trying to get things in place. And plus, I wanted to get some of the bigger pieces in place to uh, make sure that I um, took care of uh, just seeing where I wanted the bigger flowers and things like that. Because I'm really into pollinators and, you know, and I wanted to, a look because my house is honey colored. So it kind of like limits my color palette to me. <laughs> OK, so anyway. So that's the video of it, because what I was working on was getting that black mulch in. That black mulch is sexy, y'all. It is sexy, and I am in love with it. So it's not where it's going to be, but it's a good start. And then, like, next year, I could see, in the, in, you know, for the spring, I could figure out what I want to add in. And this fall, because I might put in some bulbs. But anyway, if you're a gardener, y'all know what that's about. So... You know, I'm sorry if I just wasted your time. And you're like, I didn't give a damn about your gardening. But it's my fucking video, so I can talk about what the fuck I want to. And if you don't like it, then just click the fuck off and don't say shit to me. Okay. That was a real terrible rant, wasn't it? But you know, I get tired of people feeling this need to direct, you know, armchair direct some shit that they ain't got nothing to do with. So I'm just letting y'all know, constructive criticism is good. But when y'all be coming at people like real snarky and shit, like, you know, maybe you shouldn't talk so much. Maybe you shouldn't fucking watch me. I know I'm not the best. I know I don't have the best. Maybe I would have more viewers if I stuck to the YouTube scripts and shit, but I don't. So there we have it. All right, let's go on and let's get started. Y'all. I almost forgot to say this, so I'm going to insert this in the beginning. For the people who actually watch my intros and shit, I need your help. I need your help. Your help. Every last one of your help. If you're watching this, I need your help. All right, so here's the deal. This shit costs a lot of money, right? Y'all be acting like y'all don't want y'all don't want us to get sponsored, you know, PR, y'all sponsor content and all this stuff. So I need you to to, to help me here. Y'all know I'm on TikTok. I'm the perfume hoe over there too. So I'm putting my, I'm, I'm putting it all up. Listen, I do live streams over there. You know this. If you watch my live streams, because I tend to do them together. Now, let me tell y'all what I need from y'all. I need y'all to go to subscribe to my TikTok live streams. They're not that expensive. It's just flat rate. Listen, TikTok is about to give me at the end of this month, if I have at least 50 subscribers, they're giving me a bonus. Y'all, I need the I need y'all to help me out with this. I need y'all to help me out with this. Do y'all hear me saying that again? Let me say that again. I need y'all to help me out with this. So the more subscribers I get this month, I have to get at least 50. The more subscribers I get, the more they'll give me at the end of the month. This bonus. So I need y'all help. I really do. Listen, y'all ain't even got to stay subscribed to me if you don't want to. 
I'm cool with that. September, unsubscribe. That's cool. But just give me this September. I mean, this August. And let me tell y'all, the thing I'm about to do with, with the TikTok is over there, I can put content up, which is good. That's videos. I could do that here, but it's just, it's a little more seamless over there. I can do a few more things that are fun over there. And so I want to do that for y'all. So, like, I'm going to do my monthly giveaway over there, DK giveaway, for my subscribers. So, you want to be a subscriber there anyway. I'm trying to make it robust and make it fun. So, just come on. Subscribe. So, how are you going to subscribe? Listen, I'm going to put my TikTok name in there. And I'm going to put the link to the to subscribe because it's kind of hard to find. And so, just, so, just to make it easy, I'm going to put the link to my subscription in the description box. So, that y'all can go ahead and you know subscribe to me i appreciate you all i got three subscribers now y'all so i got a long way to go so come on come on help a sister out and then first off let me thank my three subscribers y'all know who y'all are y'all know i appreciate y'all every day love y'all love y'all so come on through with me come on through help us sis out help us sis out all right now that i begged thanks a lot Okay, now let's get started. But let me just say this, and I'm going to keep saying this every once in a while. I need people to remember, I am not a perfume reviewer. I am not high-minded enough to say that I'm a perfume reviewer. Hold on, it's about to get bright. Because ah, I forgot to turn on my lights, y'all. Sorry. If y'all was like, dang, she look a little, look a little something right there. Ooh, I don't know if we like that light. Which one do we want? I like this one. Anyway, as I was saying, I am not... A perfume reviewer let me just say that and I don't even feel like putting in like I'm reviewing something because I really don't feel like I am because <clears throat> in order to be a reviewer you have to be more technical you know as a reviewer there's certain points that I would need to be talking about I would need to be showing the box if I you know just give you the full and, and you know the fullness of it I would need to be talking about <clears throat> longevity the siage the this you know really breaking down notes and shit and that is not who i am because i am not trained in this and i am not not presumptuous enough to act like i know what the fuck i'm talking about what i am is a perfume conversationalist let me make that clear because we're talking about from my experience and what i think is important so a lot of times you're not going to hear me talk about longevity because it ain't that important to me unless it's like just out of the norm out of their outliers super short or super you know last forever i'm really not going i you know five or six four five six hours is good for me because then i could go and put on something else new and i'm happy and happy and gay okay and when it comes to projection and siage and shit I'm an oversprayer. If you can't smell me coming, then there's a problem. Because I'm spraying 15, 20 sprays. So I, and I, so you will never hear me talking about, I'm only wearing two sprays. Now I might tell you it'd be strong enough for you to, but you can trust and believe I'm not. Trust and believe that I am not wearing that. Okay? Okay, I just need to say that. So we can be clear on that. I just I just need to say that to make sure we're clear on that. Okay, so that's what I need to say on that. Okay, so now to the real content. You know, I got to, you know, I got shit to say. You know, I don't get on here enough, so I got a lot to say. And I'm just not that one to like stay streamlined. Y'all know that. Okay, so let me just stop before I get another two minutes in. Let me tell y'all this. Summer's not over. I know in this world we live in, we are all anticipating fall and it's like all the fall, shit, the fall fragrance, the fall video is about to drop today. I promise y'all, if they don't drop today, when I drop this video, they are going to drop tomorrow. Fall fragrances, transition fragrances. It's August. Let me just say this. I know some of you all live in really hot climates and y'all are freaking dying, but I'm in Chicago. And I have to 
enjoy and embrace and love the warm weather because y'all don't get it when it can be minus 10 degrees i got to enjoy these warm days so i'm telling y'all summer ain't over really i got until the end of september to really still revel in probably some nice warm weather and i'm gonna enjoy it as long as i can because it could change at the end of this month it could all of a sudden be in the 50s and 60s y'all so as long as i got summer i'm summering it up all right so with that i was gonna finish up and do like some for vanillas for the summertime and coconut and all that and i said fuck it let's just talk about the end of summer fragrances let's just grab some stuff that we got sitting around and just talk about end of summer let's wear some stuff so that's what i did hold on okay so let's talk summer fragrances the last of summer you know we still got to get a little bop in our vibe okay so here we go i got some new stuff i got some old stuff let's hit this right okay so let me just go really old i've had this for quite some time this is shalimar souffle de lumiere now this is um just like souffle souffle intense this is a lemon pound cakey vibe but it's a little bit lighter it's lumiere so it's lighter it's got a little brightness to it so the lemon is a little more it's a little just brighter so it's good for now and actually this is good for like the early fall no lies spoken but i want to wear it now you know this would be good for honestly this would be good for evening like if i ever leave my fucking house in the evening i will wear this you know actually i do have a few things i need to go to in the next few weeks i have some work uh i have some work things i need to go to yeah that's about the only outings i'm gonna have so this will be good to go to like um you know something like that because you're gonna smell scrumptious maybe not too scrumptious because it's work people and i don't want them to be coming at me because i really don't like them like that okay but there'll be some network people okay no man okay so that <laughs> Y'all's all up in my head, wasn't you? Okay, next up on my old ones. Ooh, wee. This is Hesuaz de Parfums Tuberose Number no. Two Virginal. Y'all, this is got a cherry to. It's a cherry tuberose, and that's kind of what you get in the beginning. Because if you know anything about these, these have tuberose on every level. These are a tuberose lover's dream, and but this has a cherry note, and then it has tiari flower and lafrangipani. So it's kind of semi tropical, but still tuberose. So this is tuberose number two virginal um it's babe let me just tell y'all something this is one of those fragrances like when i was wearing it the first times i really didn't get it and then the breeze hit it and i was just like engulfed in this beautiful kind of cherry kind of sort of tropical vibing tuberose oh yes that one right there right in there there now this is figu blanche by night uh um bordeaux 1902 this is an eau de cologne vibes like a joe malone right it gives you that vibe but they've been a long longer than joe and it's at a price that makes sense so this is a really clean fig just you know just an everyday fig i might be putting this in my desk this year but it's just like a really clean fig nice and light and just a very you know like a beginning of the day fragrance or an end of the day fragrance where you're just trying to unwind but you want to smell good you know because some of us do this not everybody does but some of us do this where you know you just want to put on something and just be whoo and this is a good unwinding fragrance this is a good nighttime fragrance it's not going to last too long because it's an eau de cologne, but at the price point, it don't matter. Just spray the shit over and over again, carry it with you, put it in a decant, whatever you got to do. Just, you know, but if you like figs and you, or you want to dip your toe into fig fragrances, this is a good place to start. All right, let's go with this one. This is Mem This is Paris Monte Carlo. This is Arancia de Cecilia. If you like or you or you enjoy 
a good juicy orangey citrusy vibe this is what you want um i had this and i had venetian bergamot by tom ford very similar vibes because they have this like almost orange juicy vibe to them but i just kept this one um because i like paris monte carlo and so that's what you get and then it's a, it get, dries down with a musky woodiness but yeah you get this juicy juicy orange juice vibe so that is arancia de cecilia did i sing that for y'all did y'all feel that song in my heart um hold on for a second i thought i had 15 hold on okay here's one i really don't talk about enough but this is just really good for this time of year this is al ray Hines, um by atar collection now i have to be honest with you what did he do with my stuff because you remember the little boy was here the other day i think i got something left Okay, so now this one, if you've heard of Hayati, I would say Hayati is like a fruit sundae, you know, because it's got like whipped cream. It's got this kind of like ice cream sundae vibe, right? This is a fruity, just a fruit salad. This is serving fruit salad, but it has a little muskiness to it as it, and pow it gets powdery and musky, which makes it quite interesting. But it's got this like really like fruit salady vibe. It's got mango. It's got a little lemon in it. It's got um, does it have tangerine? And then it's got the floral. So you get like this fruit salad, but it is still got this really good, pretty floral base. So it's not just fruit. It's like a fruity floral, but it's a really elegant, well done fruity floral. Um, it's like because as it dries down it gets just really girly with the powder and the musk but in the beginning you get this like fruity floral happy vibe from it right so that is Al Rayhan by Atar Collection all right so now I'm sorry female frag com if y'all don't get on pearlescent parfums I don't know what's going on with y'all I mean I try to help y'all out but y'all don't be listen this is sunscape what just happened to my lighting oh, I hate when it does that this is sunscape so let me tell y'all there's a lot going on in here, but what I really what really stands out is the melon and the vanilla. And they say it has Texas sunshine in it, you know, one of those uh fantasy notes, and it does because it's got this really nice brightness to it. However, there is a complexity to this fragrance. So don't think it's oh just melon and vanilla. No, absolutely not. It's got a little brown sugar so it sweetens it up. And then what it has which really makes it interesting is a little violet to give it a powderiness. And then it actually has a little spiciness and a little from a ginger. So it gives it a tad bit of spiciness. It's a really beautifully done, kind of complex, but just perfect for the summertime because it's it does have this brightness to it. It's sunny, it's bright, and yet it's more interesting and a little more, it has a little depth to it that a lot of summer fragrances don't. This pairs wonderfully with summer melody that bath and body works put out last year that's the only reason why i kept summer melody because that's melon and vanilla and it just really sings with this baby it just sings with this so yeah this is sunscape by pearlescent parfums like i said you really it just gives off this just mm, just juicy fruity sunny vibe so, but the brown sugar gives it a good sweetness y'all ain't gonna lie the brown sugar does something to it all right so that is sunscape by pearlescent parfums all right this is uh ajma's a room summer last summer was the a room summer for me right i bought all these well this style of bottle from ajma this is one of the standouts it is fruity but it is let me say how this is let me tell y'all what this is this is fruity it's fruity but it's got the florals and it. it's got orange blossom it's got jasmine 
but it's a really mm, it's just really good y'all okay so the fruitiness it's got the apple in it gives it a little tartness it's got a little pear and apple which gives it like this tartness to it but mm, but really what i love are the florals in it so it has this fruitiness but the florals are stunning it's got peony it's got rose it's got jasmine and as it dries down, it has the woodiness that grounds this all so that it makes it um, a very beautiful fragrance. Um, I really do enjoy it. It's just like something that you could like throw on and people are going to compliment you because this is very crowd pleasing because it has that fruitiness in the beginning. But as, but as you're wearing it, it's just this really stunning woody floral with that complexity of the peony, the rose, the jasmine, mm, and some osmanthus. Y'all know I love osmanthus, which makes this really good to like layer with a lot of things. You know, it's got so much going on that you can really layer it up good. You do some rose oil, you can throw on some, you know, jasmine body mist. You could do a lot with this one, honey. And then, oh, mm, so that is A Room Summer by Ajmal. Okay, so I don't know why I have not been wearing this. If you have this, I don't know why you're not. If you're looking for something inexpensive, but you know, you like a niche, y'all know Montal is good for this. This is Daydreams. Mm -hmm. And this is a floral fruity. What gives it this, but what it has, it has a really good coconut note. But it's that creamy coconut. It's not too over the top. It's not too loud a coconut. But the coconut is definitely there. And then you've got the florals in it. It's got tiari flower, jasmine, orange blossom, a little neroli. It's got mandarin orange on the top, so it does have a little citrusy juiciness. But what it really is, it's a coconut floral. And it is sexy. And it's got some vanilla. So it's got, it is sexy. It is, you know, like, honestly, this might be for one of my nighttime events because it's going to stand out. And we know that Montals hmm, last, okay? But, yeah, it's got this kind of sexiness to it because that coconut and that vanilla. And then you got the tiari flower and the jasmine and the orange blossom. Baby, this is a beautiful fragrance. It's, you can get it at a good price. See, some of y'all, okay, let's just let's have a moment niche ain't got to take you out niche does not have to take your pocket your pocket out let's just say this too many of y'all who are just getting into this are trying to keep up and buy the parfums de marley's and the killians and stuff but honestly you can get niche at a good price you can buy serge luton you can buy montals you can buy mancera's you can buy all you can have a really good collection of right interesting fragrances and not pay that much and when dream house Securio has a sale you can get two for one and honey, that brings it down underneath $100 for each of them. I don't know what y'all be doing. Okay. Mm. But anyway, daydreams. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm wearing this up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely wearing this. I'm definitely going to wear this. I got to go to this party. I think on Thursday. So yeah, I'm going to wear that. <laughs> got to do something with this head. Okay. <laughs> Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. That kind of went south, didn't it? Okay. Where's my next one? Okay, oh, this one. I I, I didn't talk, talk about this one a lot. So we're going to talk about it again. We're going to talk about it again. This is Sylvain Delacorte's Vagina. This is a stunning vanilla for me the conversation of this um i fell in love with this it has a sharp greenness in the beginning so it might be off-putting in the beginning but ooh, i think she's gone down because you know i've had it for some months now but yeah the, but what it is it's got 
osmanthus in it. It's, so it's like an apricot vanilla. And it's good for this time of year because it's a lighter weight vanilla. It's not super thick. It's not super sweet. It's just like this perfect vanilla. It's a very ladylike vanilla. Yeah, she's got a greenness to her, but as it dries down, it just becomes this really powdery, beautiful fragrance, this vanilla with the slight tinges of apricot. Yeah, it's got slight tinges of apricot with a little bit of orange blossom. It is a... I, now, I did send some to somebody, but trust me, a lot of this is me because I have really, I was wearing out a lot of Vahina for a minute. So that is Vahina by Sylvain Delacour. You are unaware. Sylvain Delacour was the perfume creative director for Guerlain for about 15 years. So this vibe, so if you understand that, you will understand the vanilla because Guerlain has a signature type vanilla and you can tell that she was involved with it because it does have that Guerlain just real real sophisticated yet elegant and laid back vanilla vibe so this is Vahina had to get that out all right next up is Schwa de Angeles Schwa's whatever choir of angels let me just say it in English for us all for the, the us can, who can't do these French pronunciations correctly and I don't need no I don't need the linguistic Nazis police to come on here and fix it up for me. So, this is Choir of Angels. So, anyway, by Atelier Des Ors. Oh, my goodness. This is... <laughs> how do I want to say this? This is a fruity... This is a fruity fragrance, but it's a fruit... It's kind of... It's fruity floral to me. But the interesting thing is, it's got this really unique fruitiness to it it's got blood orange don't get me started on blood orange you really can't tell the difference i've got blood orange i've got mandarin orange i've got i've tried them all this the differences are so subtle but anyway it's got pear a little black currant and then it's got my osmanthus if y'all know me i love osmanthus and honey but the honey is like a white honey a little drizzle a little a little sweetness of honey so it gives you a little honey sweetness which enhances all these fruitiness and then it's got mm, orange blossom so it's really a lot of fruit with a little orange blossom and as it dries down you get some amber and honey with a little woodiness, you know, because you got to throw some cedar in, some sandal with something to offset all of this. So you get some seed. The woodiness is just there to like really bring all this together. So you're not going, it's not going to turn woody. What it is, is going to be this lovely, gentle, fruity, um, like honeyed, fruity fragrance because it's just got orange blossom in it i don't know why they call it a floral fragrance because it's more like a floral fruity leaning more on the fruity side so you get this like melange do you like that word melange of fruits along with a little drizzle of honey and then a slightly orange blossom as it dries down so you get that orange blossom as it's drying down with a wood base that helps it to last long on your skin I always look this way because I think my grandson comes. I guess he's not. Yay. All right. So this is short Choir of Angels by Atelier Desors. I knew I wasn't crazy. I, heard, I knew I heard my grandson. So you came to visit. You want to come and say hello for a minute? And then you got to go upstairs because I got to finish filming. Okay. Okay. Got a book. Say hey. Yeah, say no hey say hey to them not hey bakari i'm Gigi. remember that you got a book what, what, what book we reading this is there's a walking in my pocket i will read this to you later by dr seuss you know dr seuss is one of my favorite authors man i love you know i love dr seuss like you want to show them your hat they ain't never seen your hat y'all ain't never seen the hat this is the signature this is it. that's your signature look kari has a signature look and it's the hat it's the hat. It's the hat. Kari wears this hat all the, all the time, right? Your favorite hat, ain't it? You love this hat? Mm -hmm. All right. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. So now let's get in some um, 
newer fragrances I have that I need to that I want to play with right now. Um, so this is okay. Let me go back. This is Gardenia by Mikalef. Um, I bought this last year, I think, when I was on my Gardenia kick. Um, you know, because I'll go through a note and I'll just be like, I need that Gardenia. And I was into Gardenia. Mm, and I have not worn this enough. This is a classic floral. I mean, real talk. I don't know. Some people will say it's mature. I just think it's a beautiful floral. Um, I got to be honest. And I, I guess maybe because I'm a, at a mature age, I don't look at it as mature or whatever. But maybe the youngins won't like it. And I don't think because... And I think sometimes we we say this about young people because we steer them to these type of fragrances. When I think some of them would love these if we would just let them smell them. But anyway, this is a gardenia fragrance. It's got some amber in it, musk, jasmine, yalan, yalan. It is really beautiful. I have not given it enough love. I've only worn it like once. I really want to wear it a few more times just to see how stunning it is and come back and talk about it um but yeah it's it's a it's got that um i was you know it's a, it's a gardenia I, i'm gonna actually do a gardenia vibe because i've got like a bunch of them and I, there's one more i've always wanted gardenia patel i need to get that and then i want to do my gardenia video but oh. anyway this is a white floral it's got definitely has that gardenia jasmine it's got your line your line so it gives a little balance to it mm, and a little peach and as it dries down it gets ambery but you still so it's like it's this floor that amber floral you know that classic amber floral vibe we love mm. Mm. and um and musky you know uh, i'm you know there was a time when i said i didn't like musk in my perfumes and musk per and now I'm here to say I love them. Just do. All right, so now my latest fragrances that I've gotten in the last few months. I've actually worn this a few times. This is Midnight Dahlia by Corez. Now, people be sleeping on the Corez's. These are EDTs, but you can get them on FragranceNet at a really good price, right around $30. So they don't last super long, but the fragrances are so beautiful. I love the fact, one of the things I do love is that they put the notes on here. So, you know, in case you need to know, you need to know. But it has this, it has lychee and raspberry. Is it raspberry? No, lychee. Yeah, lychee and raspberry. So it has this tartness to it. But it's not as tart as like the Lena and stuff. Don't get that vibe. It's just got a slight tartness, but it's got a sweetness because it's got some bergamot in it. So it's a sweet tartness. And then it does have this beautiful floral. It's like underneath, uh, underlying floral, but it's really like a, a fruitiness. And then it gets this, the amber is really nice. They have a really good amber and a little patchouli. So it's just a really good, like I've worn it just every day. I've just thrown it on. This is like a really good everyday fragrance. Some you could keep in your, at your work. I'm trying to decide on my work fragrances for this year. Because I, I try to keep like three or four. And I and, But this is a really good one because it's just like effortless smelling good. But it gives you a little zhuzh to it with that tart, sweet tartness in the beginning. It gives you a little zhuzh. And then you get this ambery, slightly sexy vibe but not too much you know what i'm saying it's that daytime sexy that's just a little subtle that subtle sexy with the gourmand vibe with the, the amber a little patchouli it's giving you a little subtle sexiness but not too much it's just like you know it'll be like in passing like is that what I'm saying? yes you do okay so that's that now this is girl of now lovely it's lovely yeah lovely this has the girl of now dna so unlike girl of now forever which is kind of a departure this definitely has the dna it's giving you that nuttiness but it's 
it's much quieter but what it has it has an aquatic note to it so it's like a more watery more summertime like shine because you know shine is my favorite so this is like right behind shine so it's got this nuttiness to it but it's not too much it doesn't get too syrupy sweet but and then it's got this aquatic vibe to it which gives it a little wateriness which makes it quite um if you like the girl of nile vibe this is a good addition to it you don't do you need it no you don't need all of them but i like it because it is more summertime it just gives a little summertime zhuzh but it's definitely a nighttime zhuzh and it's definitely a date night because we know that folks love this dates love girl of now it's something about that sweet nuttiness you know that kind of you know that whole vibe like cherios is like the soul like the you know so de janeiro's that sweet kind of caramely kind of sweet that's what you get in here then we have Muna by Latafa. Now, y'all know I got a bunch of Latafas running around here, but this one I really want to play with because it has strawberry and watermelon in the beginning. Strawberry and watermelon with some orange blossom and a little musk. So I really want to try this. I really want to wear this a few more times because I think this is a perfect time of year to wear, you know, strawberry, watermelon. And I want to play with it a little more, add a little strawberry to it. Um, do I have anything watermelon? I really don't think I do. I think I have a watermelon scrub. I do. I have a tree hut watermelon scrub. I know I don't have any watermelon. Any other things like that. Because watermelon doesn't do well on me. But because it's got strawberry and watermelon, I kind of like it. Okay. But then I have Blush of Dawn. <gasps> Ooh. That is rose and watermelon. I wonder how these two would smell together. Let's see. Okay. And then finally, this just came out. Well, it's just here. This is Afnan Rare Passion. Okay, y'all. I know people are like, what's going on with this? What's going on with this? This is a rose. This is rose. This is musk. It is sweet. It's like a sweet rose musk. It's got rose. It's got musk. What did I say? I put this in my thing. Hold on. Okay, so it's got, it's sweet. It's got a little orange in it. It's got vanilla. It's, it's a sweet rose kind of tart though it's a sweet pretty rose musky with some orange blossom it's nothing groundbreaking um honestly we'll just have a conversation about it right now it's a nice fragrance um do i need it mm, not really like rare tiffany i really love this one is okay i love the bottle though okay but it's a really, I've worn it, and it's a pretty, pretty sweet vanilla, sweet vanilla rose. Um, well, you know, and that has a little, that has a muskiness as it dries down. So it becomes this musky rose, sweet musky rose. Really do like it. It's a really nice fragrance for every day. You know, it's like one of those, let me say this. It's one of those fragrances because it is a date night fragrance because there's the sweet rosiness is really something that you could wear on a date, right? But here's what it is. It's one of those easy reach date night fragrances. And the reason why I say that is because, you know, there's sometimes when you wind up going on a date and it's like a last minute date. So you kind of rushing around like, or you like you, you're rushing because you got home late you know what i'm saying so you have to get dressed kind of quick and you're looking for the fragrance this is the kind of fragrance that you could wear for that because it's a very easy reach um because it's just it's not it, it you know you know that you're gonna smell good with this and and you don't have to think too hard so this is like one of those things you ain't gotta think too hard you just you know take a shower put on some vanilla low you know take it with a vanilla body wash maybe throw on some rose oil and then throw this on and you're gonna smell good all night because it does last and it didn't take that much thought to it you know sometimes you need some shit that you ain't gotta be like wow what do i want to wear what do i want to you need something that you could just say i know i'm gonna smell good even though that's every motherfucking thing I own. And it should be yours. But 
yeah so it just makes it easy you know it's just an easy vibe okay so that is rare passion by f9 all right so those are the ones that i am going to be vibing with for a minute i, I guess i could have said this was the last of summer trick but i didn't and i'm not going to so, all right, my hoes, thank you all for hanging out with me, as always, because this got long and windy, and it's a lot going on in this video. So, if you made it this far, if you made it this far, that means you watched all my madness, and you subscribed to my TikTok live streams. <laughs> Do that back out there. Um, go on and put, like, a pound emoji in the comments. Okay. Just pound it out with me. In the comments. Pound it out. Pound it out. In the comments. All right. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all as always. Be bold. Be brave. Be fearless. Be free. Why is this damn? I'm trying to get undressed. You see my, my, my dress is just trying to come off. I'm just trying to. Uh, okay. Good night.